I get asked uh, many questions how to perform certain things in Unix or on a PC, uh, especially in the class that I teach on Unix. This is one of them. Um, how to do a screenshot of a Unix session and save that into a document, plain text. Well, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. First way to do it is on your local machine I'm going to actually capture the screen and put it on a local editor. Well, let's say that I ask the students to um, print off the working directory and then show me the contents of that directory. Uh, all the files except for the uh, current directory and the parent directory and a long listing. So there is that information right there. Well, I'm going to highlight this and up here in the top menu I'm going to say edit copy and now I'm going to bring up Microsoft Word. Any editor will work as long as it allows you to save it in plain text and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to create a new document okay and I'm going to right click and paste. Now you may have to go in and make some adjustments uh, especially in Word. Notice that it puts uh, this at double spacing so I'm going to go change that to single spacing. Alright, very good and uh, you can change the font if you want to, it really doesn't matter. Because what we're going to do is we're going to say save this as, we're going to say file save as and uh, we'll put it uh, someplace desktop now instead of a word document what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to say go down here and say plain text and it's very important that you say plain text uh, document save and it'll say warning save as a text file will cause all formatting pictures and objects in your file to be lost okay Windows default is fine and save OK. So now it's saved as a plain text document and that's one way of capturing the screen. Now that file is on your local computer. Okay. But what if you wanted to leave the file on the server itself? How would you do that? Okay, well, I'm going to close that document and I'm going to show you the next thing. Now on the Windows version of uh, we're using Tech T right here, I can say Windows and New Terminal and this brings up a new terminal already logged into the server that I'm logged into. If you're on a Mac machine, when you bring up a new uh, command line screen or um, a terminal that you have, you'll actually have to log back into the machine itself, but this works the same way. So I'm going to go down into a um, uh, directory that I have here set up. Now I'm going to say pico, let's say um, assign to Okay, so there I'm an editor. Okay, so now I can highlight that. I can say edit, copy, and go over here. And the same top menu, say paste, and boom, there it goes. Save that, and uh, uh, you've got the text file. Now then, it's on the server. What if you want to bring that file over onto the uh, uh, machine itself? Well, you can do what's called an FTP. I've got uh, videos out there on how to do. Uh, secure file transfers on both a Mac and a PC. But I'll demonstrate the secure file transfer on this machine right here. Okay, I'll go to TechTia Secure File Transfer and it brings the machine up. We will log into our shell. Okay. Yes, I'd have to use it. Get your SD. And here we are. Okay, this is my local PC over here. Okay, and we'll go into a maybe some place we want to put it. Okay, desktop. And then we'll go over here to our. program where it's at and there is my assignment right here and just drag and drop it. Boom. And there it is. I brought it over to the machine. Well I hope this helps you. Um, this has uh, been a video on how to actually do screen captures and uh, enjoy doing it. Look forward to doing it again. Have a good day.